In today's video, I will talk about rational function and its graph. So a rational function is an expression that the ratio of two polynomials. So the numerator and denominator should both be polynomials. In grade 11, we actually have learned the simplest rational function, that is y equal to 1 over x. And we have learned vertical asymptote and horizontal asymptote. You might know that an, in analytic geometry, an asymptote of a curve is a line such that the distance between the curve and the line approaches zero. So here, as you can see, the uh, x-axis is the horizontal asymptote, and the y-axis is the vertical asymptote of this graph. So in grade 12, we can combine the, fun combine the skill of function transformation in rational function. So here, in, in order to draw this function, y equal to 6 over x minus 2 minus 3, we know that uh, if the original graph is 1 over x, so by vertically stretch of 6 unit, vertically stretch of 6 unit, so from 1 to 6, 1 times 6, you will get the graph of 6 over x. And uh, x minus 2 is just 2 unit to the right. So 2 unit to the right, this point. And then minus 3 is 3 unit down. So basically, we can draw this green graph by function transformation. And some characteristics of the new graph. So first, we have, we have non-permissible value, that is x equal to 2. And uh, we have behavior near non-permissible value. We know that when x approaching 2, when x approaching 2, that means x very, very close to 2, but not equal to 2. So the bottom become very small. So 6 minus a very small number become infinity. So infinity minus 3 is still infinity. So we know that the so y become very large. And the end behavior is a new it's a new term. That means when we consider x become very large, so x approach infinity, positive or negative, we, uh, when x approaching infinity, x minus 2 is infinity. So 6 minus infinity is close to 0. So close to 0 minus 3 is still close, is close to negative 3. So we know that y equal to negative 3 is a horizontal asymptote. And when x become very large, the graph will approach in negative 3. We have domain, we have range, and we have vertical asymptote and horizontal asymptote. Okay. This is a question from Math 11, and uh, we just uh, show it step by step how to analyze and draw the graph. Um, so we first uh, we can find the vertical asymptote by put the bottom into zero. We have x equal to two, and the negative two is the vertical asymptote. So we we first draw the two dash line as vertical asymptote. Then when we con then we consider x approaching infinity. So x approaching infinity, x squared is positive infinity. Uh, minus 4 is, is uh, useless, right? So 1 divided by positive infinity is equal to 0. And I put a plus here. That means greater than 0. So it, it should be approaching from the top. So this side should be like this. And finally, we draw the graph here, and the bottom should be here. And if you want to draw the graph more precisely, we better find some uh, intercept. So one intercept we can find here is 0, negative 1 fourth, so y-intercept. Then we can connect it, it becomes more precisely. Okay, in summary, um, we have graph we have rational function graph step by step. So first, find the intercept. Second, find the vertical asymptote by setting the denominator equal to zero. Third, find the horizontal asymptote by setting x approaching 
positive or negative infinity. Fourth, you can make a table of value. So to make it more precisely, and uh, you can know the shape of the graph. So finally, stretch the graph. So let's use an example to explain this. Um, this, is, this one looks a bit complicated, a rational function. So we first, we can factor it to help us find those values. So after factoring, we see we can find x-intercept of the top equal to 0. So we have negative 2, 0, 1, 0, and the y-intercept by make x equal to 0, and the uh, y-intercept is, is 0, negative 1. So we have x-intercept, y-intercept, 3 point already we can draw. So step 2, vertical asymptote by setting the bottom equal to 0. So we have vertical asymptote x equal to 2 and uh, x equal to negative 1. So two asymptotes we can draw. And the third, when x approaching infinity, positive or negative. So when x approaching infinity, uh, these are relatively small compared with x squared. So we don't need to, con to consider this. And uh, basically, the function becomes x squared divided by negative x squared. So it's negative 1, right? So um, the, we have the horizontal asymptote y equal to negative 1. Finally, we make a table to make it more precisely. So we can have consider the x value close to vertical asymptote. So vertical asymptote here, x equal to negative 1. So we can pick a point very close to negative 1 from, from um, left-hand side and the right-hand side and uh, calculate the y value. So first, we calculate the y value is 66. So that means very big, approaching infinity, right? And the left-hand side, the right-hand side is negative infinity. And the, the same thing here, we can choose 2 minus and 2 plus. When 2 minus here is positive infinity and 2 minus is negative infinity here. And finally, choose a point, for example, negative 100, a very big x value. We can find um, the y value, we will get 0 point, negative 0 0.9 something. So it's in approaching negative 1 from the top. So I put a zero here from top. And uh, finally, y equal to x equal to 100, we can calculate y value is negative 1.02 something. So that means uh, from approaching from the bottom. So finally, we connect all those together, right? We get the graph. Or you can put the graph into decimal graphing calculator to verify. But uh, there will be questions that you cannot use any graphing calculator. You have to draw your graph by, your, by hand. Okay, hope you enjoy. Thank you.